I'm really excited to be here today, uh, to be with you all to, to open this first workshop for the Right Care First Time Where You Live program in the ACT. Good decision making comes from evidence um, and it comes from having the participation of clinicians um, and academic experts and people with lived experience and their families. Um, and I'm very excited that we're going to have something like this to help us with our decision making in future. Mental health is not a single issue. It's a wicked problem that won't have a simple solution and just seeing how people are working together to identify gaps, identify areas that, where things are working really well is very useful. It certainly appears to be a really complicated process and it should be, it should be complicated and the issues that we're dealing with are really complicated. Uh, I'm excited to see sort of what they come up with in the next stage around taking all our really messy maps and diagrams and pieces of post-its and sticky tape and turning it into something that we can look at next time. Today has been really exciting um, and I've been really impressed by um, how much people are like listening to me in my experiences as well and how much this is like a youth co-design project. Once this data gets put out there and you can see what mental health services can be tweaked in what ways to best help young people, we will be able to have that foundation to make better change. And when we have this kind of data and this kind of research, hopefully people will listen and implement these kind of changes and hopefully that we do see an improvement in our results, people will kind of look at that and see the value in co-design projects and see the value including young people's voices on these kinds of issues. It's been quite a rewarding experience so far in terms of um, the journey that we've gone through from workshop one right through to, um, through to today. Um, I think it's the journey of bringing people with us is probably the most important, um, particularly the youth engagement that we've had. I think that part has really highlighted that we absolutely needed them as part of this process. Ever since the beginning I've felt very listened to, um, I've had a like, really big opportunity to share my thoughts and get involved and um, last time we had this interview I was talking about how a lot of time when you go to these kinds of events they kind of just listen to you only to tick a box and then ignore you but I feel like um, the feedback that I've given other young people have given at these workshops have actually been properly incorporated into the model and it's been reflected back in it and being able to see a change over time has been really really fun for me. At the beginning of the project I was certainly quite overwhelmed it was quite um, a, a sort of big new thing for me but um, something that was really exciting um, and what Watching it kind of play out and unfold from the beginning has been um, really, really interesting to see and I think that it's landed at a point where it's going to be really valuable and really useful um, for a lot of different parts of the mental health sector in the ACT and in Capital Health Network it's going to be something that will be very useful for us with our um, service planning, our strategic planning. One of the things that I'm really excited about is uh, the, the mix of voices in the room that have gone into making sure that we're looking at the right things and in the right way. It's a, a little bit like baking a cake. You can put all the ingredients in together and see um, what impact they have when they interact with each other. So you're not just looking at one program at a time, we can look at things in conjunction with other services and programs at the same time. It's really been fantastic to see how um, the different agencies and stakeholders across the ACT have really come together with a genuine commitment to work together for change and that's absolutely critical to what happens moving forward. Um, everyone's really knowledgeable and engaged in, in um, their particular uh, uh, sector but seeing them come together and learning from each other has really just been um, a really rewarding experience for me. I think my favourite part is just the, the sector collaboration. So I think having everyone come with hope in the model uh, and the, the conversations that we've had since March and um, the fact that everyone seems to be in this together is really exciting. I think what's been really exciting is actually feeling like um, like I have a voice and I guess my experiences with what I've done in my career it has like I can um, use that experience to make change in Canberra. Um, reflecting on the day I think what I'm most excited about is to see how this model implements and um, used to impact young people's lives in the long term and seeing everyone so enthusiastic about this model and about impacting young people's experiences with the mental health system really gives me a lot of hope that we're able to achieve that. 
we now have something that I can certainly take to the rest of government and say, hey, look, we've got a way of conceptualising this. We've known this stuff, we've had research about it, but we've got a way of conceptualising it that we need to make a collective decision about. And it's had good input from a wide range of people. I'm actually really excited. I can see that it's going to have pretty much immediate benefits for us in understanding how we can use the, the limited resources we have in the ACT to, to benefit people and to, to really make a difference to their mental wellbeing. Um, but I'm also hoping that we'll be able to build on this over time. Once we've started using it, we're going to learn how we can use it even better um, and further refine it, and that's going to be really helpful over the long term.